Hello, my name is Te Wale Hi Hetaraka. Um, raised in Whangaruru. <coughs> and uh, my travel links are Ngati Wai, Kapotai, Ngati Hine. <coughs> and uh, of course, connections into Ngapuhi as well. And although I was born in Whangaruru, the stories of, of uh, the Bay of Islands are uh, pretty strong. Uh, you know, to our aunties and uncles who continually told the stories to us as we were growing up. We're looking at uh, talking about uh, a little bit of the history of Rua Peka Peka and the involvement of Ngāti Wai and Kapotai. And it goes back, I think for our family, it goes back to our ancestor, uh, well several of our ancestors, but the one I'll, I'll, I'll refer to here is uh, uh, the Tupuna we know as in our family, known as uh, Maki, but his name to the to the Pākehā was uh, Te Toro. Uh, Te Toro had spent some time in um, in Australia, um, uh, where he was nursemaiding his uh, brother's son, who attended the, the school that uh, Samuel Marsden had set up over there for teaching Māori. Now, Te Toro's grandson. Uh, was the Rifi Hardy. His wife was Te Toro. It was in Rifi Hardy's time that uh, the land at Oihi was sold to Samuel Marsden. Samuel Marsden, uh, for the sale of land of that land, gave 12 axe heads to an ancestor called Ruatara. And of course, blankets and a few glass beads and stuff like that um, for the sale of, of what for 60 acres of land at Oi, that became of course as, as you know the first mission station and first settlement in Aotearoa for the Europeans. Now Te Toro <coughs> in turn gave the axes to the chiefs that surrounded the Bay of Islands. This exit was given to Rifi Hardy. <clears throat> and the handle was carved by Te Wārihi Hetaraka, who, was, who I was named after. The significance of the head of this took it for me personally um, uh, represents one worldview, the view of the person and the people that he belonged to, Samuel Marsden, and the handle represents the worldview of my ancestors. Um, and at that time, in 1835, when they gathered at uh, Rangatere in uh, Waitangi, uh, all the chiefs from throughout the country gathered to discuss the future of Māoridom, basically, and the fact that they didn't cede sovereignty as well. Uh, but they gathered there and that um, one of the statements made by uh, one of the tohunga, or the seers, or the prophets of Māori, his name was uh, Abraham Mataunri. Uh, he left three statements, mentioned three statements that would affect uh, our people from that time and into the future. And. Uh, and the, the, the statements are made by these lines here, the three statements that were made. The last statement was Ringakaha, the name that was given to this Tuki. So when we look at the battle of Ruapeka Peka, we look at the battle also at um, Ohawe, and also, also the battle at, uh, at uh, Rua, um, Kororareka. This Tuki was present at all of those, those battles. Uh, although muskets were the main weapon, this was there symbolically to represent that, that kopapo of Ringakaha. Uh, so literally the, 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 the name Ringakaha means strong arm. <coughs> uh, but it implies though that um, um, a person has right to, uh, to an area through the force of Ringakaha.